Testing. I'd like to get started at this time if uh, everybody will get to their seats and uh, to the you can't hear me? Thank you. Thank you. We're going to try to adjust the air too uh, for you folks. Wanted to thank you uh, for coming out. I'd like to thank the mayor, vice mayor, commissioners for coming out, staff, and the citizens of Pahokee. We're going to get started with the town hall meeting. Mayor, uh, if you will, wants to turn it over for your introduction, sir. Okay. Before we get officially started, we'd like to have a prayer by our vice mayor, Mervyn, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As the mayor and on behalf of the uh, Polka City Commission, I'd like to thank our residents for coming out to participate in our town hall meeting of Thursday, July the 14th. 2022. Uh, the topics today would be the role and responsibility of the city manager, the city hiring practices, city projects, and community strategic plan. Uh, previously, we had a retreat up on the marina. Most, if not all, of this information was given and went over with the uh, city commission and city staff. It was a live screening, so the resident got an opportunity also to hear the discussion from these particular topics. However, the public wasn't able to make comments here today after the presentation. You'll be asked and be allowed to make comments of your concerns or your thoughts that you would like to have or share with the uh, city administration and the city commission. At this time, I turn this portion over now to our interim city manager, Rodney Lucas. Thank you, sir. This evening, uh, we have the four topics as the mayor had expressed, starting in on the city manager's roles and responsibilities in the hiring practicing slide, uh, which would be slide three. Thank you. Next slide. To provide city manager's role, to provide direction and guidance to department heads, the city manager is the chief administrative officer for the city, providing executive leadership and re representation on all matters concerning city government. The duties and responsibilities of the city manager are determined by the city commission in compliance with the city charter and state statutes, responsible, responsible for planning, directing, managing, and reviewing all activities and operations of the city, coordinate program services and activities among city departments and outside agencies, ensures the financial integrity of the municipal organization, represents the city's interests, provides high responsibility and complex policy advice and administrative support to the mayor and city commission. City manager's responsibilities. Slide five. Comprehensive analysis of a wide range of municipal policies, prepare policies and procedural 
proposals for review and adoption by the city commission, attend all city commission meetings, workshops, and town halls, oversee the preparation of meeting agendas and supporting materials, present recommendations to commission, direct, oversee, monitor the development and administration of the city's budget, directs the forecast of funds needed for staffing, equipment, materials, supplies, control expenditures, and keeps the city commission fully informed on matters related to the financial condition of the city. Authorize and oversees the administration of grant proposals, ensuring all requirements for funding and operations can be met with city policies. Executes deeds, deeds of trust, easements, releases, contracts, and other instruments binding the city to financial obligations. Execute deeds, deeds of trust, uh, well, it's on there twice, sorry. Responds to and resolves sensitive inquiries and complaints from both internal and external sources. Responsible for the full range of supervisory activities, including selection, training, evaluation, counseling, and termination. Develop and maintain positive work relationships with other local governments and state and federal agencies. Develop and implement capital improvement and strategic plans for a wide range of municipal activities. Research and analyze and make recommendations for cost-effective improvements in city operations. City manager's responsibilities work with the department heads to design, evaluate, and administer departmental programs and service. Member of emergency management team required to remain with the city in the event of disasters of act of God, assist with city functions and performances, uh, other duties as required or necessary. Hiring principles. Performance. We believe in strong, sustained performance from all employees. We hold all these in critical roles to a higher performance standard. Behaviors and individuals' behaviors meaningful influence on how they are compensated and their ability to move forward with our city. Accountability. Managers are accountable to build the quality and depth of their team, improving the city's capacity to achieve success. Transparency. We share information with employees about how far and how fast they can advance at our city. In the last, uh, within this year, the following people uh, have been hired. Uh, you have Louis Gonzalez, Peggy Boulay, Washington, Jonjolin, myself, Lynn Latner, and Carlos Manguel. Pahogi is in search of new talent. We are in search of great talent to join our city, to grow our community stronger than it ever has been before. It's 12. Pahokee hiring practice, principles and, pro and processes, sorry. Open positions are posted to the public through various means, including Indeed, City Website, Florida League of City, um, Florida City and County Manager Association, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Central Palm Beach County Chamber of Commerce, Florida Government Finance Officers Association, National Forum for Black Public Administrators, and the American Society for, black, uh, for Public Administrators. And then the websites are, are down below. Hiring practices, explain. Uh, I'll have Ms. Boulay Washington come up and uh, explain the uh, process and give you guys a sample of, of how our process works. Ms. Boulay. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Peggy Boulay Washington. I am the Assistant Director of Community and Economic Development Sure. No worries. Can you hear me now? Okay. So I am the Assistant 
Director of Community and Economic Development with the great city of Pahokee. Uh, I see some of my ARPA members. Thank you for uh, sharing that piece with me. I'm going to be explaining uh, some, some key details as to what we look for uh, when candidates are applying for jobs within the city of Pahokee. Now, let's take for example the position that is currently open for a program aide. Now with this position, you'll find a job description. With that job description, you'll find special requirements, education and experience, certificates and licenses if they apply to that position. Now, one thing that we encourage, or one of the many things that we encourage our applicants to do is to align your work experience, your past experience, your educational experience alike with what the job is asking for. So for example, uh, with program aid, it gives you a description of the job, which it states work performed under con continuous supervision in assisting recreation leaders in, con in coordinating implementation, supervision, and evaluation of recreation programs. This includes games, special events, and other recreational activities in a recreation area with all age groups. If you're not a child-friendly person, then that may not be the job for you. You may qualify for other areas, but if you know that th this main portion of the job is asking for you to work with children and that's not your thing, then you may want to move on with maybe another position that we have open or with other endeavors. So other key areas that we align, that we ask the applicants to align their skills with is special requirements. So for example, with this position, mandatory pre-employment physical and drug test. Florida driver's license required. So if you know that you may have an issue with controlled substances, that may not be something you want to put yourself through. If you know you do not have a driver's license, because at times, park and recreations use the park and recreations vehicles to transport children to and fro. So, you want to make sure that some of these things are things that align with what you know you can do or what you already have. Now, some things like getting a driver's license, that may be something that you can acquire within a period of time prior to applying for the job. The job may have an open till field, which may give you some time. It may have an open date and a closing date that also gives you a, uh, a numerical amount of time to say, okay, well, I have X amount of time to acquire a driver's license. If it's another requirement that you may have that is a, um, a, uh, a special requirement or a specific requirement for this job, such as maybe a certain, maybe a DCF certification or something of that nature that takes time for you to acquire, then this may not be the job for you just yet. So moving on into other special requirements such as certificates and licenses. Some uh, applicants for this position may require a, a CPR certification or a first aid certification. These are things that you also have to consider. How long will it take me to get these things, to acquire these things? prior to applying to this job. The key is to acquire these things prior to applying for the job if, it's, if it is a requirement prior to application, the application process, um, joining the application process. Now, some jobs, some positions may allow you to acquire these things within a certain amount of time. Then you can uh, let your job, uh, the uh, employer know that, hey, these are some things that I am in the process of acquiring so that you are considered or continue to be considered for that position. When, when applying for jobs, just in general, I just employ the, the public to call the potential employer. Um, the city of Pahokee has made our doors more than open to the public. We're at city events, 
talking to the public, letting them know that these positions are available, they're open, apply. We are talking to residents as they come into the uh, city hall um, to pay uh, for something or acquire for something else. And they'll say, hey, do you guys have any uh, openings? Oh, yes, of course, we do. Our job applications are right there on the table once you come in. So we are doing everything possible um, other than the general stuff, putting them online and so on and so forth and, and putting them on our websites to make sure that the public is aware that these opportunities are open and, and available to those who would like to apply. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. present time. So my question is, why isn't the human resource director here who you have hired and why the process is being explained by the economic development assistant? She's been sick since Tuesday, ma'am. Oh, I have a question about the um, uh, city manager, you you stated that all of your requirements and all the things you're supposed to be doing, but you didn't state. I'm, I have a question. Do you have the authority to cancel a meeting, or do it? That's up to the commissioners. And we have a city council meeting. Can you just say, "Well, we're not having a meeting tonight"? No. If there's not a quorum, we we can uh, at that time uh, cancel the meeting. Okay. If there's no sufficient information to go on the agenda, then I'll get with the mayor and we, we look at when's the next available time or how soon the clerk and the attorney and myself can get together, sir. Okay. Listen, I, gotta, I ain't gonna tell you, I got a hundred questions, but go ahead. So do I, I came to this meeting so that I can ask all of my questions but you still didn't answer my question. Uh, but maybe I need to hear from the commissioners. When are we going to interview for our city manager and for all these other interim positions? Because that interim doesn't mean uh, permanent. Interim mean interim. So are we going to interview for these positions? Or are we gonna let this stay as is? Anybody on the, on the diocese? What what I could tell you as far as that is that it was voted in one other meeting and it was four to one that we stopped the interview process that we had. That's what they voted on. <laughs> I if if you could, I may have been absent from that meeting. I don't recall a vote where did we vote? Did we say it? I'm speaking that I don't recall having a vote that stopped the interview process. 
Mr. Luke was brought on as an interim. Uh, prior to that, uh, he was terminated by a majority commission. Uh, when the majority flipped, for lack of a better word, the new majority or the majority of the commission decided that we would hire, well, we end up terminating the acting of the city manager at that time. And it's my understanding that there has not been a decision made on the interim city manager at this time. Uh, this commission as a majority have to decide on that, whether or not we want to continue the prior to Mr. Lucas being uh, terminated at that time. We had a process that we had with a management, city management county association that was conducting a search for our city managers so we can have an opportunity to, to interview. That was, uh, again, disrupted because of the termination of Mr. Lucas and the hiring of uh, another city manager, Greg Thompson. Uh, when Mr. Lucas was brought back, it was understanding that this commission as a whole would determine whether or not they wanted to continue that process of an open competitive interview process of hiring a permanent city manager or got to a point where they may feel that they are satisfied with the performance of Mr. Lucas and want to hire him. Uh, it would be my suggestion at some point this commission as a whole would make that decision and determine whether or not we want to continue with the process of an open competitive uh, interview, which would include, I'm quite sure, Mr. Lucas or anyone else who applied, or are this commission satisfied enough that they would want to uh, go ahead and appoint Mr. Lucas as a permanent city manager? Okay, that's understandable, and, and we all understand that he was hired after Mr. Thompson as interim. Okay, and, and I understand that in the beginning he was hired be, uh, um, based on the recommendation through the League of Cities. Okay, if I recommend some, a stranger to come live in your house and say that he's okay and you let him live in your house and you give him the key and the access to everything in your house without knowing anything about him, would you do that? Personally, no. Uh, I, I think what happened in, in Mr. Lucas' uh, uh, situation, uh, we received his uh, resume, we received his application, and he was actually interviewed along with another gentleman. It wasn't but two people at the time being interviewed because that's all who applied at the time through this uh, management association. So we did have background. He went through uh, a background from the city also uh, before he was able to uh, be authorized on any check signature to make sure that he met certain uh, qualifications and background check. But he came back as interim, and he's doing all of this hiring, and he's interim. And now we've turned the keys over to our whole city to someone who's been hired as interim, and we don't know nothing about him. Let, 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 let me say something really quick, okay? Uh, in all fairness, he was one of the applicants. He was one of the ones that was recommended by the association, whatever it was, because we wanted to have it fair. We wanted to learn the whole process, because Pahoki had never gone through the process. So we went through all that. There was two ultimate candidates, and he was voted by the majority to choose him. Then they were, he, he, he was voted by majority to stay as permanent, okay? It was when we came over, 
that we got rid of him. And I'm telling you like it is, I'm the one that put the motion to get rid of Mr. Lucas. When, when they won the elections, they got Mr. Lucas back. Okay, so now don't go back and forth with your story and get the story right. The man has asked me, cause, cause if you could see it, it was four to one, I voted not to rehire him, to bring him back. But he told me to give him an opportunity, okay? And I think he deserves an opportunity on my behalf, on my behalf, and I told him I'm gonna keep an eye on you, I'm gonna make sure that you do everything right, because you're right, we do need stability, and if we keep changing, that's not stability. We change the city manager and, and, and all goes to hell. We don't got nobody to answer the phone. Uh, we, we lose all our contracts or they expire. You know, everything, everything is on a limbo. We've had money to do projects that they're not even gotten started. And I'm afraid that we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it. We got a lot of projects. We got Barfield Highway. We still got the East Lake. We got the, the What's the other street behind East Lake? McClure. McClure Road. We have uh, MLK. We have the demolition. Nothing started yet, but we need to get going. We need to stop fighting, stop talking, and start doing. And that's exactly what I told him. We need to start making things happen. We need to show the people that it's, it's action and not talk. So that's it what I told him. Uh, let, me, let me say this, James, just to clarify some of the errors she made yes. in her statement. Mr. Lucas, at this point, haven't been hired as a permanent. If you look at all the literature and everything you see, you see... I wasn't saying now, you, I said last time. He, he was hired... He wasn't hired last... He wasn't hired permanent the last time. Yes, he, he was. No, he wasn't. He was the entry. So you need I to get. We, I thought he was. No, he wasn't. You, 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 a city uh, commission. You have to get your facts straight. You, you way yeah. off. He, he have <laughs> never been hired permanently. I, James, I, sorry. All right, this my, this my question, and I don't really have a problem with Mr. Lucas. I don't know Mr. Lucas, but here's the thing: he was brought in as an interim, as what we call a bridge that gap from one city manager to a. To and he was just brought in by the uh, League of Cities to just bridge that gap to help whoever we hire. But it's not fair to our constituents that live in Pahokee that applied for that city manager job not to even get an interview. It's not even fair. I don't care how you feel about Mr. Lucas or nobody else. And I'm going to tell you my problem with Mr. Lucas is his hiring procedures. He go back and hire all his friends. Every time the job open, he wants to tell you about, I know a guy. Hell, I know a guy. Everything, everything in here, this dude, everybody he hired up in that office up there is somebody he already worked with. It's not fair to nobody that lived in Pokey, grew up in Pokey, then went off to school, came back, and looking for a job. First thing we say, well, oh, wait, ain't nobody Pokey qualified. Are you serious? You're not, even, you're not even giving him a chance. I'm not looking for a job. I'm retired. It's not even fair. You're not even giving people a chance that putting them application for an interview, Everybody, every time the job come open, it pay more than $50,000, Mr. Lucas knows somebody. Hell, James Scott knows somebody. Let me, let, me, let me just be real with you. My thing over this, it's not fair to the, uh, the ones in Pokey. In the Glades area, period. I, 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 I'm, Pokey, I'm just, I'm being real with you. It's not fair. We go out, we got, uh, who that is? Alvin them beat up that 30 some years. We gonna have somebody over them. That's crazy. You know why, know why it's crazy to me? Because right, I'm, this is my passion. Those kids are my passion. And I'm gonna be real with you. We, we the only city, and trust me, I work with the Orange Vote. I represent, I, last year I represented 50 cities. Pokey is the only ones that still charge kids to play uh, sports. The only city that you go to, I went back there, they said $150 for the little kids to play sports. $8,000 to get help is refurbished. But we can go out and hire somebody to be over people that have been here 20, 30 years doing the same job instead of just moving them up. That's $77,000 we could have used 
to compensate for the parents not have to pay for those kids to, to be playing those sports. And we the only city with 600 houses in it got two city managers. And that, that because Tammy to help Chandler got in here. And, 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 and to say that, to back, piggyback on what you were saying, Uh-huh. Uh, to piggyback on what she was saying about uh, did the same thing with Chandler. If you did something one time and you come back and do it again the sec second time, well, you don't expect different results because you're doing the same thing. So my question is uh, the statement that, that, that um, um, James made a, a, a few minutes ago about uh, giving our people opportunity and hiring somebody. On last night in the city council meeting, Mr. Lucas made the statement about the Parks and Rec's director that that that, that person uh, has left. So he moved one person up and, and, and well, two people. One is the uh, director and one is the assistant. I'm listening, okay. The assistant director has been here for over 30 years as well. And he said that it was being, this job had been advertised in-house. In-house mean that you already know who qualifies for the job. So if you had somebody, like, like James stated, you got Alvin who has been in, in Parks and Recs, I mean in, in Public Works for 30 years, you've had uh, Ronnie Osborne who has been in uh, Prox and Recreation for 30 years, and he they did not get the opportunity, did not even think about giving them the opportunity. I don't think that's fair. There's no fairness in doing that. It needs to be fair. So what is this based on my personal belief or how I feel? Or We need to get our personal feelings out of this and do what's right and what's best and the, and the betterment for our city. And the things that I'm seeing and hearing are not for the betterment of our city. Well, as far as I understand, uh, the, the application process is in process. As far as I understand, the, the one that's the director now is just interim, because they're applying or they're gonna apply. That's what the city manager told me. It's not, it, the, the position hasn't been filled. But, but the thing is, there are more than two commissioners up there. And this is the thing. You guys have sat there to meeting at the meet and telling the people that we are going to look to hire local peoples first. And you haven't hired no locals, none. All of y'all sitting up there, you stop saying that. Stop, stop saying that you're going to be hiring local people first. You've hired people over $200,000, and not one local person has got the job. And you all have mistreated Ronnie Osmond in that position. Y'all have dogged him out. For whatever reason, I do not know. And to bring somebody in to instruct the commissioners and the workers on what their job is or what they can do and cannot do it's unbelievable. Everybody that's been hired lately have been in that same circle. Every one of them. And I just hear from two commissioners. Just like coming to this meeting. I see on that marquee, the meeting, the 14th. No time. Ain't no time up there. So people have to guess. And if they try to call City Hall, it's like trying to break in Fort Knox. I tried to call City Hall today at least 30 minutes and couldn't get the operator, couldn't get this person. That all I got was the answer machine. So y'all need to check on that. But I'm telling you, go on, and another thing that's going on, y'all talking about beautifying the city. Talking about beautifying the city. Go by Kane B and ride that road and you got Maiden Kane and I know it belongs to the county or the city, but y'all haven't even told him y'all need to cut that. That is a hazard, I'm telling you. But I want to hear from some of the other commissioners. And the only reason that uh, uh, saying that uh, Mr. Lucas is here is because it's not that three to two vote again. That's it. If it was the three to two vote, 
he would not be here. And we know that. So now the, the two, y'all got to go along with what's going on. And we're going to be watching y'all. Like you say, y'all watching Mr. Lucas. We're going to be watching y'all because y'all showed y'all true colors when it was three to two the last time. And to somebody. Okay, so basically, you know, to sum everything up. I ain't going to put it to my They got to turn it up. They turn the gang up on the mic, you can hear it. Yeah, because everybody talking in the mic. I ain't going to put it to my mouth. You know, throne's still out there. But uh, basically the bottom line, I can talk loud enough. Bottom line is, if you listen to what everybody's saying, is they looking for transparency that everybody ran on. We're looking for transparency. See, because the, just to, uh, to piggyback off what they were saying, when you come down to the parts and wreck. Okay, no, no, no bad feelings toward Mr. Greg Williams. And I, I know it was said that, oh, he was uh, Mr. Pickney's number two. But prior to Coach Osborne leaving Pahokee as the director, with the credentials, with the years of service with Pahokee, he left Pahokee, went to Lake Worth, was a director, came back to the city of Pahokee as the director until Chandler Williams had his own personal vendetta against Coach Osborne, sought him down, and brought Pickney in over him. Okay, at the same time, you have Tyrone Claravan has uh, director's credentials. Both of those guys have been with the city, a part of the city, way longer than Greg Williams. So what make him more qualified or a better candidate to put in the interim, even though we know the application process is out. What makes him more qualified to be put in an interim position over Coach Osborne that has multiple years as a Parks and Rec director? And Claravan has his director credentials. He's worked with this city of Oki for as long as I can remember. And once upon a time, we had like the best Parks and Rec department in the state. But like uh, Miss Miss Joseph said, and a lot of other people say, due to personal personal vendettas, people have been ran away from our city, ran away from different things that's going on in our city due to personal vendettas. I sat in on the meeting when we reached out to the the. Uh, the, the league of uh, city managers uh, and that we went through that whole process because they say we want to do things fair and so forth and so on and da 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 boom boom okay they brought in people they brought they submitted applications y'all did the interview process and like Miss uh, Perez said yes y'all did vote to bring Mr. Lucas in as the interim it was everybody that was on the dais. And after y'all made that vote, Miss Regina made this remark. Go back and look at the tape. Welcome to hell. So my thing is, from, from my city commissioners to the people that we bring in, if you're not going to give a person the proper chance to do the job without interfering with them in, the, in, that, in that position, we need to just look at something else to do. This guy, he made a statement right before he was uh, let loose that he had never been interfered with as much as he had in his career when he came to, until he came to Pahokee. He never expound on it, but I know that some of it had to do with wanting to get rid of Miss Jocelyn that had been doing a, a wonderful job. It was rumors saying that they wanted to get rid of Alvin Johnson, that like, Everybody say, this man, I've been here for over 25 years. 25, 30 years, longer than that. I've been out of school for 25 years. Mr. Johnson, I was working up under him when I first got here, before I moved on. But we got to stop with the back and forth, the piggybacking. Oh, I, get, I don't care if we vote tomorrow and the whole diet is changed. 
But we got to get we got to get some form of stability in our city where every time the commission changed, our whole infrastructure in the city changed. Because when it all boils down to it, the people of this community, we are the one that's hurt. Because we don't have access to the things that other people in this community, other people in other cities have. Mm -hmm. We live right here. You ride the Belglade and you turn around, you see Belglade growing and flourishing. But in the city of Pahokee, we still stagnant. Because every time there's a change in the commission, we just go dormant. Don't Mr. nothing happen, don't nothing move. Mr. Crawford, we definitely want to hear for, uh, some additional comments and uh, allow others to speak. The only, one, the only thing I want to say as far as that is not, not every time the diets change, because the only time the diets change in a long time was when Commissioner Gonzalez and I came in and we were different than the makeup that you have had for over 20 years. So, so that I could tell you. I didn't say that I wanted to get rid of her, but I did say I did not trust her. Yes, I did not trust anybody. Listen, listen, Jason. Uh, let, let, no, we, we got the speaker here. No, 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 no. Let me say this because because we're, we're here to no, we're I here to, to listen mainly this. to the I residents. I have to say this because he had a statement and I have to answer it. My position here is not personal. I have nothing against anybody personally here. I get along with everybody very well, but I take this position like a business. To me, this is business. And you don't mix business with, 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 you know, with personal. You don't. I have nothing against her as a person, but I did mention it to Mr. Lucas, just like it was mentioned in a report from the IG, that she was not qualified for the job. And Chandler said that he would train. And to this day, that lady has not been sent to be trained. Okay? That is what I'm saying. I don't have nothing against anybody personal, but you want the city to move forward? Then don't pick on me when I'm trying to do the right thing. She was hired by Chandler. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna allow everybody to be able to speak. I think Ms. Wallace has the floor right now. She's asking to speak. I understand the sentiments of every citizen of Pahokee. I don't want to go back. Matter of fact, I'm not going back. Whatever happened before this board got elected, you can't fix it all, but you can make it better than what you found it. And that's what the citizens is asking. Don't duplicate what has been done that like to destroy us. We have been through hell and high water because people had personal agendas. So we hear the voices of the people who says, if we're going to hire somebody, go through the complete process through human resources. For those positions that are interim, make sure those persons serving in interim positions are qualified but also apply which would say what they're saying is that Mr. Lucas has the right to apply for the city manager position that's interim, but you also need to take other applications that have been submitted. For the finance director, they're saying the same thing. These positions that are interim, which means temporary, has to be applied for properly. I support you all. But I think there is a process that we must go by. And I will fight to the end. I don't mind going to court. Two places I don't want to go is jail and hell. And I'm not going to let the actions or personal belief of nobody send me there. All we're asking from this point forward, mayor, 
interim city manager, finance, commissioners, be responsible for your vote. Let those persons who are interim go ahead and go through the process and not a kill it. Everybody that we hire from now on, let them go through the process. Now, what I was told is that the, the city manager position was going to be put out for application, and he also will have the right to apply. I was told that. I was told that Parks and Rec, that Mr. Clervan was getting himself prepared to apply for the position. Those persons are interim, but they were moved up based on where they were when we found them. I think that Mr. T Greg Williams was assistant to the thing. So that's why they moved him up, not for a permanent thing. Now, that's what I was told, Mr. Scott, I don't know. But that Mr. Um, Clervan is preparing the things you said. You know that's the job you want. You need to qualify. And maybe, maybe they have overlooked. So let's, let's do this. Let's ask, we're asking that our city officials, our city officials, you go through your human resource process. Those interim people, let them apply. Let them apply. And that if, if, if Mr. Lucas is who we want and who we trust, we need to apply higher. And that'll be the end of it. He won't be interim no more. If, if, I thought that we put him back because we felt he was fired unjustly. He, when he was terminated, it was unjustly. And I'm, and I'm thinking that is the reason also Ms. Johnson was brought back. To give them an opportunity to help recover what we lost. We went through hell the last year. And, and we sat back and we didn't do nothing. We fought like cats and dogs to bring a transformation to this city. It wasn't easy. We were lied on. I've been threatened. My family been threatened. We went through something, but we ain't, we're not going back there. I love everybody. And you ain't got to love me, but you need to respect me. But if you don't love people, you go going to hell. This is about caring more for Pahokee, but having integrity in the fight. Let us look at the applicants. If they are here and they qualify, give them an interview. Give them an opportunity. That's what they're saying. Don't hire nobody else without going through the HR process. I'm not telling you who to hire because that is the job of the city manager. But they're saying if the city manager is going to continue to hire, he need to be hired as a full-time manager or that position need to be filled by somebody that you have elected to be the full-time city manager. That's all they're saying. And especially when we're talking about good salary jobs, that, that money can stay in the city and circulate. Those persons who don't live here, all of us don't spend our money here. Y'all don't buy nothing in Pahokee. Everybody here shops somewhere else. So that ain't it. It's about opportunity being provided and given to local people. We support you. We support you. I, I, I don't think any of these people who have voiced their personal opinion is against you. But they want to help keep you accountable for what you promise. I promise y'all that if y'all got out of line, that I would go against y'all too. I told you, when I have a problem with one person, I'm not going to go to Tasha and talk about Perez. If Perez make herself available to me, I will go to Perez and say, this is what I think you said wrong or done wrong. I'm not going to go to Bab and talk about Gonzalez. If Gonzalez don't receive me, that's his loss. But I'm going to be a citizen of this city. And we're going to hold you accountable. Thank you for the time. All they're saying is, let's do it right. From this point forward, we, we can't fix what you messed up. But everybody that's interim, it would be a sad thing to hire other people permanently and you the interim and then they turn around and don't hire you. I wouldn't like that one bit. I want to thank y'all for recovering what we have recovered because I know the shape of our city. 
I thank y'all for going to work and paying people that we owe who hadn't got paid in months, reestablishing contracts. Thank you for what you've done. It wasn't easy, and it still ain't over, and it still ain't easy. I need y'all to hire some local people that for, for these parks and records understaffed. Uh, uh, Alvin positions are understaffed. They working like dogs to do, to do their work. But we need to put some more people out there on the field. And it got to be some local people who need some, some even the lower paying jobs. I don't care what the job pay. If it's a job, it's a job. But if we qualify for upper management, we need to be able to get upper management. That's what happened to us all the time when grants are written on the east side. I was in that grant world. They write the grants based on our numbers out west. I promise you that. And when they get the money, they hire all the heads from over there and come out here looking for volunteers. Well, it's time for us to stop volunteering and get paid for the labor that we do. I'm one of the biggest volunteers in the world. But I think it's time that we show our citizens that we are listening. Don't get mad at what they have said. Let's do better. All they're saying is, let's get it right. Don't do what you accuse other people of doing wrong and come back and do the same thing. My prayer is God will strengthen your hearts and your minds be agile and that you will do the work that you've been appointed and voted to do. Do your work and don't take it personal. And then, y'all, we don't take it personal. We ain't going to take this person. We're going to support them, but we're going to hold them accountable. 100%. Thank you for the opportunity. I know I want to clean it. And, and we're going to have to make sure that we sanitize everything we use. Because COVID gets real. Who's, who's up tonight? I want to thank everyone, all of the citizens that um, came out tonight. And we, you can hear what you're saying. And um, me, me personally, I know the position that are for the parts of it. Is, is, I think they said 30 to 45 in-house. We don't do the, the, the process of that, but that's because of our charter. Okay, the commission can't, don't get into the hiring process due to the charter of Pahokee. But as far as I think we're trying, and I, and I agree with everyone, about the process of the hiring process should be an open process and should be a, the right process for everyone to have a chance to apply. I went out and asked people to apply, whether from the high position to the low position. I don't think that we are blocking anyone from getting the jobs. But the Bible also says in all things, we got to get understanding. So also with some of these positions, we might assume that some of these people have those credentials that y'all say they have, but I don't see them. But even if you ask them themselves to show you their credentials, to show you do they have everything that's on that paper for those positions. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know who's going to get the job. I don't put myself into that because that's not my job to do that. But I hope and pray that we do the right process of hiring the, the right person for the job and give everybody a chance to apply for the job, interview them for the job, and let's do right by, by every person really in, in, in the city of Pahokee. That is our job. Our job is to hold the city manager. That is our job. I can't, I can't hear you, because both of them well, I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about every position. I think it's time for us to get a permanent city manager. I think that's time. I think because if you're not, like you say, everything lays dormant, and we get further and further behind. That's another reason why we can't progress, because things stops. And, and, and for a year and a half, everything was laid dormant, and it stopped. So it's time. I agree with hiring the permanent city manager. We need to do, make our decision, do what we're going to do, and move and move on. Post, post positions that's being hired, 
let the people come in, apply for the positions, let the, and let the human resource go by the guidelines of the, of the, of the position. This is too fair by everybody. I don't think we're trying to block anybody, which I don't, I don't. I don't think we're trying to block anybody from getting a job in the city of Pahokee. And, hey, ho and, let's, and, let's, let's, let's. Good evening. My name is Eduardo Burnell. First of all, I want you to know that my comments are respectfully to the entire commission and lovingly, okay? And not in any way aggression. I'm only going to speak for a few minutes because I have notes. And this is the things that jump out to me. First of all, I have no idea how this board promoted this town hall meeting. I found out from a commissioner today, okay, by freak luck. But what jumps out at me is that there's seven of you, and out of a city of 6,000 plus residents, we have 14. Honestly, a, that's embarrassing. To me, it's embarrassing, and I think it's a failure. Uh, again, f please forgive me for, for, for these comments, and again, I, I'm saying this lovingly, okay? A, the fact that you're 35, 40 f yards behind us, okay? You're alienating us. You may not realize it, but I couldn't read the monitors until I asked the young lady that, please, Make copies because I can't read a thing. Okay, I, I'm not Superman. I don't have X-ray. Okay, a, the commission. Well, the attendees. How can you make it better? Because how can you have a town meeting with 14? Count them. I was in food and beverage, so I count heads. Okay, I count seven of you and 14 of them. That's not. Good ratio, okay? What was done to promote the meeting? Question one. If you'd like to respond, you may, and I just have a couple more points. I'll respond right quickly. It was on our website. We have flyers that was... Uh, flyers? Flyers, uh, uh, yes, that was uh, distributed. Uh, I personally posted it even on my page and I'm quite sure most of the commission hopefully did the same thing. Res respectfully, Mayor, I, I, I do not go to the, the web page. If I get a flyer in my mailbox, if I get an email, okay, I will see it and I will respond. Right. But I believe that a better effort needs to be really put forth on behalf of the city to get, to, to, to get people out here. Otherwise, you know... We're and it's and it's live streaming, and it's on the uh, marquee. I, I I know Richard mentioned it didn't have the time, which it should have had. But you're right; we can do, and we will. And, and again, please, job. Mayor, uh, I'm I'm not slamming you, man. That's not no, my I'm intention. No, I'm not saying you're slamming. I'm just trying to answer the question you asked. And, and I, I, I get it. I get it. But if it weren't for a commissioner calling me and telling me that the uh, the other meeting, which I'm a committee member of. Uh, that we had a 5 o'clock meeting. No, it was going to be canceled because it was a 6 o'clock town hall. I said, wow. Okay. A, this should be rethought for future meetings so we can reach more people. And I know it has nothing to do with the hiring processes. Okay? Uh, and again, it's reading the screen and reading the documents, which I know are important and I can't argue. And I find it really a disappointment to come out here and see such bismal participation. And again, I'm not saying this out of anger or upset or anything else, but lovingly. How many people should be here in a city of 6,000 people, honestly? At least 20, 30, 40. Would you agree? I would agree, but you can't force someone to come. We no, just no, got no, to no, do, no. we'll do a better job in advertising and make sure that the, the word is out that we're having it, but we can't bring them here or make them come. That's the only thing. Mayor, I'm computer savvy. 
if I get a flyer, if I'm told, if I get an email, I respond. I have two telephones. A again, I did not know until today, okay? And I'm glad to be here. Although, again, it is abysmal and it is disappointing. And again, I walk every day with my grandson's dog. <laughs> and I go by the park and I see the plaques and I see your name on the marina and I see your name in the park and I know that you've been involved for 14, 15 years and again, please, without offense, in the past 15 years, and again, I'm not, this is not a personal attack, how has Pahokee improved in the past 15 years? Pahokee has improved by demolishing the house pillar. The what? Which, the, the house pillar, the old house pillar, okay. that would now be a affordable housing, some town homes. Uh, we tore down the old city hall, which hopefully we can attract the hotel here. Uh, we have opened or getting close to opening the uh, marina restaurant. Uh, we have spent millions of dollars in infrastructure improvement. We have recruited and try to, as best we can, attract businesses to come to Pahokee. Uh, you take uh, Barfield Highway, $4.3 million project, so the kids who's riding to school on those buses can be safe and attract uh, better uh, roads and streets in our community. There's a lot that has been done, especially, I believe, in the last five years that we've been here. Uh, we actually had two housing development come. One, uh, the developer biked out of it. Uh, there have been some improvements on the marina, which a lot need to still be done, uh, but those are the things that we'll continue to work on uh, here in Pahokee. Uh, okay. In 15 years, this, this gym that you see here was closed for about 12 years. It has been reopened for our children and for our young adults to have some recreation activity. The football field out there for our youth to play on and have recreation activity. Those are some of the things that have been done. The football field, Mayor, is wonderful. When you talk about affordable housing, listen, I have compassion, I understand the necessity of that. But affordable housing, as philanthropic as it sounds, okay, is not gonna bring business or attract revenue to our city other than save a lot or something along those uh, those grounds or working in the uh, cornfields. Well, as, you have to classify affordable housing because what you think is affordable housing is not uh, housing for four, five, six hundred dollars. Even those town homes, we may consider them affordable housing. But some of those apartments are going to be eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. Uh, so when you bring in residents, additional residents, it will help the business, and it's just not the small business. Hopefully, because of the numbers increasing, business will come and say, "You know what? I can make money in the city of Pahokee. There's enough residents here to support." Hey, again, business. Mayor, when you say affordable housing, would you not agree that these were people that are a socioeconomic level that is below the norm? Is that correct? I wouldn't no? say that. If if, no? if 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 you got someone paying eleven, twelve hundred dollars, again, see people uh, get look, caught. Let me, Mayor, I, I want to I want to be educated as well. Okay, I really do. people get caught up on the title of affordable housing, but that don't mean people's gonna have super low income to be able to live in those type of. You uh, have low apartments. income and affordable housing. Ah, low okay. income housing and affordable housing. You're referring to low income. Affordable is, you know, like, I guess like the market rate is what they call affordable. Okay. Well, you know, I, you're not I, talking about million dollar homes. No, 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 no. It's affordable housing. No, and I thank you for that clarification. And again, I'm a newbie in the city. I've only been here seven years. And by the way, I did get the gold, uh, gold hammer award from you 
on my first year, which I appreciate, okay? <laughs> but again, what I'm thinking of is the people that I've met since I've been here seven years, they told me this was a thriving city with dealerships, with restaurants, with, uh, you know, all kinds of businesses, and they've all disappeared. Yeah. And again, I have a house that's three doors down from me that that's going to that's gonna cave, okay? Listen, I'm, I, I walk by your house every day with my dog. That's the one with the big red barn. I have the gray house. But just four houses down from that gray house, this is, a, this is a safety hazard. But, again, that's not why I'm here, and I'm not here. Please, Mayor, I'm not here to attack you at all. No, I'm, I, don't, I don't feel I'm being attacked, believe me, and I welcome your comments, even if they're constructed or critical. No, no, no. Need, I'm just saying they need to be heard by this commission, by this administration, so we welcome that. That's why we have town hall meetings. And we encourage town hall meetings so we can hear from the residents and be responsible to them. Thank you. And in closing, the only thing that I implore of all of you and everyone that's responsible for posting these things to please make an effort to get it a couple days out. Put flyers out. Listen, I'll go. I walk five miles a day with my border collie, okay? I'll put them in mailboxes. I'll volunteer. I really will. I'll send emails, I'll do whatever it takes, but you'll agree that this is abysmal, yes? That's it's a yes a, or a no. Um, Mr. Eduardo, it's against the law to touch the mailboxes, but if you're not a postal worker, but the thing about the flyers have been out. We've been advertising the town hall meeting, I think since the last commission meeting. Also, like the mayor said, I know I've shared it, and I got 396 views on just the flyer. So I, I don't, I'm not, I know some people know, just like how you, you know about it, some of these know about the town hall. There's other people know about the town hall. Some just choose not to come, or some might be watching it via, you that know, I, the, that I understand. The, the YouTube, you know, because now it's, it's, you could do it now from home. So a lot of people, they do it now, just viewing it from, from home. But if they have something to say, they will, they will come. But, you know, just how, like, the rest of these know about it and they come, I think other people know about it, too. I'm sure I've told people, I'm sure if you talk to somebody, oh, there's a town hall meeting going on tonight. You know, so we also have to take that effort as residents, say each one can reach one. Hey, let me go grab someone and let them know also that there is a town hall going on. Maybe you should come and voice your, your concerns. Again, I just want to thank you for hearing me out. And sincerely, this is not a personal attack on any of you. Okay? And we don't take it that way. Because I know that you guys take a lot of heat, okay? I would just love to see more folks here. I think I have Commissioner Bolden on the phone. Yeah. So, um, you have him on the phone? Yeah, I got I Mayor. got. Oh, well, he just hung up. Did you get Mayor. him now? I think he has something. Mayor Bass. Sir. Sir. Mr. Bo Commissioner Bolden would like to speak. Can he, can he speak to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Mr. Bolden. Yeah. Yeah, we do have we have, we do have a city of over six thousand people. Um, but we just recently had uh, possibly the biggest election that we've had uh, in over forty or fifty years, and only eight hundred people voted. So it's not just what we do as a commission; it also has a lot to do with the people who choose to participate in the process as well. Uh, just last year, uh, not even a year ago, um, our city commission meetings were packed. Uh, nobody had a problem attending those, and they were advertised the same way that they're advertised now. All of these things are advertised the same way they've always been advertised. Um, but like I said, I don't think that the, the blame is simply on uh, how we choose to advertise it, because we're doing it the way we've always done it. Like I said, we, just, we had a town of over 6,000 people, and 800 was our record. So that's also something that we need to take a look at. As far as economic development, as far as businesses coming in, um, this is not new. But I hope we lost an entire middle class, and that's something that we're going to have to build up. People that, that can pay their bills and have disposable income, that's what businesses look at. And we don't have a solid middle class in Pahokee. That's what we need to create in order to attract businesses here. No one is gonna come here 
because they want they just want to give us a chance businesses are in business to make money and they need people with disposable income in order to do that we won't have a problem getting better businesses if we work on uh, establishing a solid middle class here in Pahokee. That can be done through housing as well. People can move uh, into Pahokee who have uh, night good paying jobs as well. So there are a few ways that we can do it, but I just think that we all need to um, take a step back and instead of having knee jerk reactions to every single thing that happens, your first question, your first set of questions should be that of trying to understand the why of why certain things are being done. The past is in the past. The way things the way things have that have the way things have been done in the past, we understand that uh, policies and things like that, proper ways of doing things, we understand we had problems with that. But we're now trying to remedy and right a lot of these wrongs, and we're trying to do things the right way here. All right. So let's not make assumptions. Let's not assume that what has always happened will happen now. If you're uncomfortable with something, just call and ask questions in order to get understanding instead of letting this, uh, you know, creating this stir in the community over something that can be easily solved with a bit of understanding, a sit down, the right type of questions and things like that. We can solve these things and we can move on. We are behind and we have a lot of work to do. And every one of these staff members are working extremely hard. Everyone on the commission is working extremely hard to move this thing forward. It will not happen overnight. It will not be easy. But we need stability in our city. We need st stability at City Hall. And we need to go back and fix a lot of things that were they, were, they were this way when we got here. And it's not what's happened in the past 10 years. We're talking about 40 years, 40 plus years of our city being in decline. So we're going to ask for a little bit of patience. We don't mind accountability. But we're going to need a little bit of patience, and we're going to need some questions about in terms of understanding what's happening as opposed to stirring questions. So, I'm done for now. So, so my question is this. I heard what Commissioner Bolden is saying. But we in the community, this is where we come to get answers in a town hall meeting. Uh, maybe they got to turn it on him. Uh, yeah. But anyway, this is where we come to get some understanding, to get some clarity, to get some, some reasoning in a town hall meeting. And now the way you all are talking is that we're coming in here bombarding and, and, mm. and saying all this crazy stuff. But this is what the people look in the community are saying. They're talking about affordable houses. But now you're talking about good jobs. But none of those good paying jobs have been given to our local people. None of them. I don't see one local person that has gotten one of those good paying jobs. Not one. And that's not right to us because like I said before, you guys have been saying we're going to start with our local peoples and that has not happened. That has not happened. And they we've hired three or four people. So so and those were good paying jobs. Very good paying jobs. And the, the thing about going back well, the thing about that, what, there was no problem when they was having all these special commissioner meetings a year ago. Nobody had a problem with that. When that thing was three to two, two years ago, uh, that's where a lot of this commotion come from. Now that the, the shoe is on the other's foot, now we're trying to straighten some of this stuff out, and you don't have a choice but to go along with the program. And you guys know who you're, I'm talking about. Um, I hear our commissioners are saying that the citizens are asking questions and you all seem to have a problem with the, uh, piggybacking on what uh, Tadpole just said, that, you know, the commissioners has a problem with the citizens making comments. But forget, you're forgetting no. who voted you all in. You know, who put you all Ms. in. Joseph, First no, of all, we said we wait, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Okay, we're the ones who put you all in the seat. Okay, when we speak out, we're speaking our opinion. Mm -hmm. We're speaking, we're making comments. 
we're speaking our concerns. And you all should welcome those concerns or uh, uh, comments uh, so that and, 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 and find out, well, what do we need to do? What I think you all need to do is come together as a commissioner. And each of you, I have listened at you say that, well, just wait around. Uh, I, uh, I got something coming, coming that's going to be good for the city. That sounds personal. When, when you say I, where you're not talking about us, when you, all come, when you all decide to come together as a commissioner and sit down and discuss and work out these issues that the citizens has and concerns that they have, then you all will be working for us. You all, right now, that's who you are supposed to be working for. So you should welcome our concerns. You should welcome our comments and, and not say, ask the right question. That's not what, we, you all are going to give us the right answer. We're waiting on the right answer. If you, then we'll know the right question to ask if you're giving us the right answer. So that's all we ask. Be accountable. Do your job. You all, as a commissioner, there are how many of you, five of you? You need to come together. You need to come together. Ms. Mr. Babb has been speaking to Mr. Lucas about financial report, uh, city manager report, written report. None of you all have piggybacked on him but behind, or got behind him and say, when is this going to happen? Nobody. Nobody. He's out there all by himself. And that's part of being together because this is the way to make him accountable. So, so we need to come together and take all of our personal feelings out of this and stop reprimanding the citizens because we're going to speak. And if you can't stand the heat, you need to get out the kitchen because the heat is going to come from the public. So that's all I have to say. If I, can, if I may say, I think, well, I can speak just for me personally, that I, I think I've even said that tonight, that we welcome the, the, um, the citizens. I said, I thank you for coming and, and saying what's on your mind. That's what it's, it's, it's for. I never one time said I. And I don't think I say I on anything since I've been a commissioner about what I can do, because I personally can't do nothing along without the rest of, of the body. But also what you're saying about Babs doing his own with the thing, I have to beg the difference. I don't know what other commissioners does, but I do go to my one-on-ones and we back, and if he right now can even vouch for that, I back the mayor in 100% of what he puts forth. And we do have one-on-ones with our city manager where we, where we demand stuff and we get stuff. And I can say with Mr. Lucas, that he does give us the information. He emails us with whatever, even in the stuff that we don't really have no control of. He say, okay, I just want to inform y'all, FYI, this is what's going on. But as far as, I don't think not one time that we asked the citizens that we didn't welcome their, their um, what they has to say, whether it be a hard question, easy question. No, I don't, me personally never said no, don't bring those forth. I, I never, I never, I never said that, and I think they should be welcomed from the citizens, because that's how we do know. Because I can't be everywhere, and so maybe, and that is why we have the town hall. We ask them to. No, the reason. Let me let me clear that up. The reason I was saying on social media, the negative stuff, misinformation. It wasn't about the uh, it wasn't about the the comments on social media. It was misinformation because I was saying that when they put out the misinformation about the city closing down, November the state deep stuff like that, I said that hurts our city when we go to get funding from. It doesn't help us. Not that about the social media. No, I always said about the the negative stuff when it's incorrect information. I think y'all know who I was talking, referring to, uh, Mr. You know, when I'm, when I'm thinking, when I'm saying the misinformation. I think y'all know who I was referring to of that.
if I may. Oh, well, Holden don't want to say something to you. I, I didn't know. Go ahead. Gonzalez next. Okay. 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 Here's uh, Ms. Joseph. With all due respect, we do keep in touch with Mr. Uh, the city manager, the interim city manager, Lucas Rod uh, Rodney Lucas. We, Rodney Lucas and I also do ride-alongs around throughout the city to see what we can fix to beautify Pahokee. There's not one week that neither of us out here have not contacted Rodney Lucas about anything. But we can't have a group without the meet, without, can't do it group, without group, the public. Linda. And we do. You cannot, you, we, we cannot be together like okay. that. That's against, we do have, we had the work, we said we had a workshop. When was that, Mr. Lucas, on when the commission came, came together on it. But as far as talking about anything else, but I think. Even at a workshop, we can discuss nothing that we have to vote or that we might have to vote. That's not the case. We don't deal with day-to-day -day operations. Don't, we does, does interfere with day-to-day -day operations. Is we knew it after the fact. We were not consulted. Here's the issue that I have. Here's the issue that, we, that I have personally. And I'm going to say this personally. As a commissioner, you guys hold us responsible for the hiring of an interim city manager. Yet he was terminated and y'all fought to bring him back. Now y'all brought him back. Now y'all complain that he's here. It's like a catch-22. It's a catch-22. We're trying to move the city forward. Do I trust him? Yes. I believe in him. He's doing a good job. There's nothing negative I can say about the guy. But yet you're complaining because the way he's doing his job. <coughs> Sir, you've been on that since the time you came in. I agree that he should stick to protocol and, and do his due diligence. My, my position is, my position is to open, open the, the application process to anybody. And if you have preference in the local and they meet the qualifications, then I will preferably hire somebody local. We have no control of that. That's day-to-day -day operation. We cannot control that. So you want us to violate, to tell them to hire citizens? Can, can I answer, Mayor? Yes, Mayor. sir. Let me explain the hiring process. I've hired three people. One got let go. Just because you get hired, there's no guarantee you're going to make it past a certain process. But we have awarded, based on when a person fills out their application, we give preference to veterans, seniors, and Pahokee, not in that particular order. I didn't have a whole lot of applications I went through for operations manager. When I asked about the interim finance and HR, I saved money, I asked could I combine it. I put it out in front and said, let's do a temp service. 
you know that that position is temporary. Those jobs had been advertised long before. Why aren't they filled? I, I had nothing to do with that, but you blaming me. But, 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 but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't have a problem coming door to door and asking people to come to Pahokee if they qualify. Now, now, you want me to go there on personal information. You know, you know personnel. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, let, let me speak. You've been speaking for a while. Okay, may I have the floor? May I have the floor? Thank you. The person in question interviewed the longest of all the applicants. Now, when I dialed deep down in my interview question, so you, you, you guys said, well, do you guys have questions you ask? We ask 15 questions, they all ask for every applicant that, that comes in. We have a three panel, three or four person panel. I'm not there by myself. I created the operations manager position because we have a void in how we handle paper and record things. I need a person who has project manager management experience. We had a minimum. Your relative was outstanding. I, I don't have no circle. All the people, all the people I've hired, I did not know. Let one person fit. Tag, I didn't know tag, them like them they finish, like like finish. they my best friend. You let you, you come to me, you come to me and you ask me what's the process. I'm trying to be fair and equitable. So one of the things that. One of the things that we do here is we have a secession plan. I didn't have a secession plan before I got here. In a secession plan, there's somebody in the pecking order to pick up an event somebody leaves or gets sick. So I have 13 people at the senior management meetings every Wednesday. So for example, when Mr. Pickney left, that man was number two. I asked, Coach, oh, hey, let me, let, please, please, please. I asked, I asked Coach, would you consider, because, you know, Coach has been beat up a lot over time, I understand that. I, you know, I'm late to the game. But I asked the man, what's your feelings on positions of what's going on in your department? How you feel about participating? Would you consider any interim? He didn't have a problem going to the two. But I talked to that man. Look, it's internal first, so they all can apply. He's just like y'all said, he can apply and he'll be interviewed. But we ask, we have a set of questions for every position. But I did not dog him. But, but you, you blaming me for the past. Tadpole, Mr. Tadpole, you all make sure, use the mic so that everyone can hear. The mic. Now, now, so there was the executive position. So there's the three. The executive person I'm sharing with Ms. Warner, the city clerk, she didn't work out. So that's two. Now why you? What y'all beat me up for on two people? I know of him. Yes. And, and, and guess what? Wait a minute. It, it's not a question of, in fact, for that position, nobody even applied for the executive secretary position. No one but that person. 
And I didn't, I didn't. You, you said that, you know, we ain't went over the world. We're going right to your point. You say you want to answer, you get an answer today. I have been fair and equitable in hiring. I've only hired three people and one was a contract. The person can be replaced. I didn't know the interim finance director. I knew her indirectly through a, a, a uh, consulting company. That's it, never met the lady in my life. But we had, wait a minute. But when it comes to paper and credentials and having to get the city forward, we behind years on financial stuff. We keep getting out of findings. Wait a minute, you can ask any one of the commissioners here how many times we have findings for the last four years. It doesn't make any sense not to have attention to detail. But I gotta live with this. But we're agreeing with you, Ms. Jones, and we, we, we never disagree with that. All right, so they're saying the finance director position is still open. Human resources is still open. That's what they saying. But right now, there's still no one even applying for those, those positions. To apply for the job? Okay, so what do you do in the interim? So what do you do in the interim? But that's the problem I'm having. You're but that's not, us, we're not saying nothing. That's what I don't understand. You said we're not saying nothing. Yeah. But what are, what are we not saying? You're, basically, you're telling, us, you're telling us that we have to, that we have to tell them who to, who to hire. Oh. Uh, Bottom line, what did you, you guys I go, want us to fire before uh, I go, Lucas and, 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 hold on, hold on. and get somebody else? Before I go. Page here that states everywhere where you advertise the, the job openings. I read Mr. Trophy, you got the flow, you got an opportunity. Okay, I guess the big misconception is everybody got to understand the form of government that we have in the city of Polk. We do not have a strong mayor uh, form of government. With a strong mayor form of government, whatever Mr. Babb say, that what goes. That's it. But the formal government that we have, we have Mr. Lucas or whomever we put in that position. That's the CEO. That's the one who runs the day-to-day -day operation. 
No city commissioners, based on that form of government, city commissioners cannot go and interfere with the process. We can make recommendations. And we do. We can make recommendations, but at the same time, we cannot have no influence on how he runs uh, the city in the day-to-day -day operations. So everybody got to understand that part. I understand that, you know, we're looking at the process and who, whomever, and, and another thing is, if people don't apply for these positions, local, if local people don't apply for these positions, how do we expect for local people to get hired? I understand, I saw, uh, uh, I think Mr. Bolden, he put out a status back when they brought in uh, Greg Thompson. And that it was never advertised, it was never nothing. They just say, okay, Greg Thompson, boom, boom, we're gonna make you the city manager, blah, blah, blah. Okay, he had no experience in nothing, no, no degrees, no diploma or whatever, whatever, whatever. But with that being said, I saw Mr. Uh, Bolden, he put a post where he get, grabbed the names of the people that I had applied during that time for the city manager position, I don't know. So I understand half of some of the things that citizens are saying, but at the same time, as citizens, as commissioners, as everyone involved in the city of Pokey, we all have to come together collectively to move things forward. And uh, I guess what you was uh, referring to, Ms. Joseph, uh, what uh, Ms. Mervyn was replying to on social media, there was a bunch of misinformation going on. They were spreading lies and rumors about the city was finna shut down, that the state was supposed to take over the marina in November. I went to Mr. Lucas personally. I went to Mr. Lucas personally. I reached out to Mayor Babs personally. Uh, Vice Mayor Mervyn and Bolden, personally. And I say, okay, these are being floating around our community. Now, if we don't address these things, sooner or later those things are gonna start becoming part truthful because people gonna start believing if, if, if you don't rebut some of the stuff that people come at you with and you just let them keep talking, other people gonna start taking it and running with it and say, oh, it must be some truth to it. And that affects a lot of things when you have people that's going around and spreading false narrative for their own personal gain. And see, no, 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 I understand that, Tat. I understand that, Tat. But I'm just saying, this, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to just give my little synopsis before I go. Because when it all boils down to it, if people keep spreading false allegations and false rumors, that's just like, when we had another set of commissioners, they kept going, okay, Chandler left and gone. We saw several different IG reports and all these reports and da-da-da-da-da from the whoop out. But we kept digging into the, that same whoop, kept trying to, if, old saying, if you stir boo-boo, it'll start stinking. But we can't, we can't never move forward because, like I, like I said, I've told many people this. In the city of Polk, we could never move forward because every time we have a change of the guards and commissioners, we always go back to try to undo. If we look at the presidency, when Donald Trump got into the office, what the first thing that he tried to do, he went back and tried to undo everything Barack Obama did. Now, Joe Biden in presidency, everybody against Joe Biden, he's trying to undo all of the bull crap that Donald Trump did. So now, when you look at it, you look at this commission now. This commission that we have right now. They're going back trying to, before we can start getting into the meat and potatoes of things, they trying to go back and undo some of all of the bull crap that we had going on in our city. We was getting lied to because when them people stopped on Barfield Highway, we was told, oh, they just stopped because they on vacation or whatever, whatever. No, them people actually stopped. See, I went and I did my own investigation. I went and asked my own question to people that need, the question needed to be asked to. Those people stopped because for the simple fact that Lady Miss Jocelyn Adams and those people that worked in finance, that handed out the, that made sure all the checks got paid, 
got fired. So it was nobody there to do it. Okay, the other, another reason a lot of these jobs went to the wayside and people don't come, I'm sitting in the city commission meeting with potential investors for the city of Polk. And the, the turmoil that these people look at when our commissioners up there bickering back and forth, you a liar, you a liar, you did this, you did that. If I come to your house, Miss Joseph, and every time I come to your house, you and Mr. Joseph in there arguing and fighting and, and carrying on, guess what? I ain't coming no more. So people don't want to come here because every time they look at us, like, like they just said, we being screamed live on YouTube, on Facebook, everywhere. So when people outside of the city of Oak and look at what they see that we putting out there, no, I ain't going to come. I'm sitting there talking to a man. He walked out of the city commission. He said, oh, I had to come see it for myself. He wanted to bring a proposal to the city of Pahokee to do X, Y, and Z. I was sitting in the city commission meeting when, when one of our former mayors told a company that wanted to put something on the other side of the track close to where I live. Oh, if you build it, all they're going to do is rob you blind. But in return, know what he did? Sold the property that him and his family own. That's why you got Family Dollar and Dollar General right next to each other. See, people don't want to understand and people don't want to, we, we can't come, we can't fathom the facts that there's a lot of intangibles that goes in with what's going on in the city. We got to give the people that we elect a fair chance. But at the same time, we got to hold them accountable. It's good, and, it, and I love the fact that people are coming and having a dialogue with you guys. And I'm glad that none of you are taking it personal, that you're receiving, that you're open, and, and, and you're willing to try to make the proper adjustment. But we got to also understand that we can't expect these people to violate the sunshine law. Because as soon as they violate the sunshine, I, I'm not saying you, Tad, but... If, if Miss Mervyn and Miss Perez go sit in the office at the same time with, with Rodney Lucas, that's violation of the Sunshine Law. So if Miss Perez said that she interacts with Mr. Lucas on, on, on a weekly or daily basis, Johnny Gonzalez said he reached out to him, so, so forth and so on, then we got to accept it for what it is. Like, like I understand the concept. Yeah, I can whisper something in Tapo. Yeah, he tell you, you tell Mr. Mike, Miss Mike tell her, and he get that bike to Mr. Greg, and we get Greg the mic, the whole story done got changed. But the same, at the same time, we just got to know what we want, how we want it, and when we want it. And for those ones that don't have nothing positive to say, if you don't want to see change, if you don't want to see change in Pahokee, listen, stay out of the way. Let those ones who want to see change have change. And I know y'all haven't got to this part, but I'm going to say it because I got to go. I got my son in the truck, but he good. Uh, that's just like all of the events that have took, took place this year. This is supposed to be one of the best years in city of Pahokee's history because it's our centennial. 100 years. But we got people that has not supported. See, we need to be pointing fingers over across the street. Pahokee Chambers. They haven't supported not one thing that happened this centennial year. The Rotary Club has not supported not one thing that happened this centennial year. Yeah, that too. But my thing is, when it boils down to it, if you are not for a change, I don't care if you are an elected official or you are a citizen. If you don't want to see change, it's easy. Change your address and get out of Pahokee. And let us who going to stay here and we here for the long haul deal with what we got to deal with. But when you constantly want to pick at sores, stir, stir doodle, just because you feel like you can. This guy, Mark Miller, he doesn't even must live in our city. He don't live in our city. He's mad he currently has a lawsuit against the city of Pokey. But he's mad that he constantly every day on on. On social media, on Pahokee Can, him, Sam McKinstry, Joanne Culverson, Mary Dalbro, 
pat, pat, f- sending out false information. Sending out false information. And guess what? Me, personally, I address it. And I come to my commission, and I come to those ones that we put in um, position and tell them, hey, listen, address this. Because it's time out for the foolishness. We can't keep trying to go back and undo. And God forbid if any of y'all get voted out and the majority flips the other way. Watch what happens. No matter what has started moving and started trying to take form or whatever, it's going to get undone. So, to, uh, oh, the guy done left. But to answer his question, he was like, Ice Mayor Bad, what has, what has took place in the city in the last 15 years? Every time the ball get rolling in the, in, in, in the changing of the guard, they undo everything. Then as soon as that group get everything rolling and moving and moving in the right direction, change of guards again. Now we finna go back another five years. It's a process, Tad. It's a, it's a process. But they, they, from, from my understanding, Tad, what they said, what Mr. Lucas said, is a process. He, he said he has 15 questions that he asks each candidate that applies for a position. They say that there's a hiring process, and if nobody from the local, local community. But that's not true. That's not true. But he didn't say that. He said during his time. But like I, but from what I'm that's, understanding, that's exactly they say, what I'm getting. but I'm done. I wish y'all nothing but success in the future. God bless all y'all. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. But Jason, Jason, I think you're being fair when you said that every time the changes of the guard, like I said again, the guards did not change. For about 20 years, you had the same people up here. It only changed one time when we came in. No, and I'm sorry no. if wait. I'm you sorry are, if you think that we stir the doo-doo, you, 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 but if you, you don't you stir are, the doo-doo and you are, clean it you up, you cannot keep putting it on top. You are that's wrong. the problem. We've never held anybody accountable okay. for the wrongdoing they've done in this city. We've moved on and moved on and moved on. That you know what 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 message we're putting? Come to Pahoki, do what you want to do, and you know what? We're going to forgive you, and we're going to move on. It's time to hold people accountable, and that's what I was about. Okay, okay, with, I understand everything you say, but when I speak of changing of the guards, that means when a different group of elected officials get placed in office. Yeah. And in the last 20 years, we have had election, what? I, each one of your tenures are three years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so look Bishop, at, look Bishop, at Bishop look Holmes. At listen, Bishop Holmes was we're it within the last twenty years. Uh, Bishop Holmes only did one. Uh, term. Pastor Everett was within the last twenty years. Felicia Hill was in the last twenty years. Colin Walks, when he beat out uh, J.P. Sasser, was within the last twenty years. When Miss Mervin got voted in, was within it. So they're always a continuing changing of the guard. It's not who you, see, but the thing is, we need people, no matter who you are. I don't know if there's some kind of legislator or any kind of uh, something that we need to get implemented into our ordinance or into our, uh, charter. In, into our charter to where, okay, when you get elected, uh, when the next election come up, whatever has already been put in place for the whole it is it, it, it stands because some people get elected and they are pulling for only a, 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 a one specific group and we need people that's gonna we need people that's gonna talk for all of us we need people that's gonna talk I for all talk of us I, I'm not listen I'm just saying see you you brought it up and I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm expound on it 
I'm going to expound on it because at one time we had a group that was here. All they wanted to do was marina. They wanted Robert Lambert on the marina. Robert Lambert on the marina. Uh, seven, seven, uh, uh, what, Wayne Gray on the marina. That's all they wanted. But what, 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 what Wayne Gray gave us in the city? Nothing. Mr. Wayne Gray closed the marina out. Hold on. I'm, now you open it up, so I'm going to expound on it. Wayne Gray opened up the marina. Then he closed the marina down to the same city that gave him the contract and told us that we can't have our 4th of July on the marina on the 4th of July because he had something that he wanted to do. Exactly. Which yeah, was no, pagan worshiping. Hold on. Peg pagan worshiping. Yeah. Then when the residents, the locals, the people of this community went up on the pier, he turned the lights off. Yeah. Wouldn't let, wouldn't allow the people, the residents of this city. I heard, I had people come to me. I heard people, I, I read the statuses. I see the comments. I hear the, I hear the words. I see people say that why some people didn't want to come up on the marina for the Juneteenth celebration, be it black, white, Hispanic, or whatever. For the 4th of July, black, white, because they felt like they are not welcome. Because in the past, all we had was people that wanted to keep everybody other than a select group of people off that marina. Robert Lambert and Martin Miller included. So I commend our, our commission when they said no to Robert Lambert. I commend our commission when they said no to Martin Miller. Because if you're not for the whole, if you're not for this whole melting pot of people, we are black, white, Hispanic, Haitian, Jamaican, whatever you can think of is here in, in, in Pahokee. See, it, 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 this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with. In the history of the city of Pahokee, hold on, but in the history, I'm glad you brought that up because in the history of the city of Pahokee, you never had where a, a group of commissioners went up there and say, okay, we're going to take the mayor name, lock the mayor out of everything. So you feel comfortable with a rubber stamp uh, to put on a okay, check that you don't even have? Do but you guess feel what? comfortable with that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm glad you do. No, 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 no. I ain't say that. But okay, what I, then. But what, 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 what I say Instead you of removing take the action, right? Hold on, so hold on. You take action. There's other, there's other ways to take actions, Miss Sarah. Instead of taking the mayor's name, who is the mayor, who the people elected to be the mayor of this city, off of the bank account, guess what? Since y'all had the majority, what you do, you make the motion and you pass, you pass, make the motion and put it and put it in the ordinance where we don't use rubber stamps. The mayor still can be on the bank account, but he has to sign physically. Or you put the right people in place to sign. You don't go up and back go and take this man's name off of because he don't fit your uh, way of thinking. Then you turn around, that? okay, vote on that? at the same time. Yeah, you could have voted on that. But at the same time, at, not only did y'all take the mayor's name off the, uh, the bank account, Y'all turned around, y'all hired a man the day that y'all illegally had that meeting right outside. I was there. The, when y'all illegally hired uh, Brandenburg as the, city, uh, the new city attorney, y'all left straight from here. So this lets you know, okay, now in my eyes, that means it's violation of the Sunshine Law. Because how, how come soon as y'all left here, and made it to the city, uh, the, the chambers. The locksmith was already there taking, changing locks. The sheriff department was already there telling Miss Jocelyn Adams and Mr. Lucas that they need to leave. Doing the illegal, the only reason Mr. Lucas got fired, if you ask me, is because he wouldn't go along with the ploy. He wouldn't go along with the ploy because y'all wanted to have the meetings. He told y'all, okay, this is what we have in front of us. We have litigation in front of us. Let's let's look into it and see what's going on. We violated the, the, the yeah. I always said it. It was violated. It okay. was not violated by the commissioners. It was not advertised. Because we have no idea 
Yeah, okay. that's not our job. Okay, Can so. Can you understand that part? Okay, because so. Because keep saying that we okay. violated it. We did not. The city of Pahokee did. Why? Because they, they took the initiative to say, do not advertise it. Go hold on. We okay. didn't know that so until question. we read the, the so transcript. Question. From Tawana Warner. So I question. did not know why everybody was hold saying on, that on, we listen. violated. Okay, listen. Listen. When you say when you say that, say they did not advertise it. Yeah, when they you did say not, that, they but didn't I didn't advertise. know that. Okay, but listen. Okay, if you know it wasn't properly advertised, why go ahead along with it? That means that okay. Did I, I know tell it. you that I did not know that? Yes, My thing did. is to request it, not to advertise it. Brandon Once I request it, it's done. Because we had the we we had the, the forum to have the meeting. We got we got documentations and we got notes within the city within the city minutes and on record. Well, Brandenburg himself, God bless his soul, Brandenburg himself, when he brought the paperwork back and with the lawsuit that was pending against the city, the non-disclosure and all that, this man admitted that y'all violated. He didn't say he violated. No, 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 no. no. He said y'all violated. No. Now y'all He didn't to say he didn't say the commission Bottom he didn't line say y'all. He was talking Ms. about Ms. the Crawford, city. Okay. The city violated. I'm, I'm about to go. The I'm about city. to go. I'm, the city I'm about to go. supposed to advertise I'm, it. I'm, I'm about to go into but uh, my, right my, my, my whole thing is everybody got to understand that when it comes down to it if people are not working for the good of all of us in this community we don't need to welcome them in, in this community. If the people in this community want the job that are being advertised, we got to apply for the job that's being advertised. I, I am a class A CDL driver. I have heavy equipment operation skills, certifications. I've been doing driving truck for over five years. Well, I've been working at the job I'm on for over five years. But at the same time, if I don't go in and put my application on that man's desk, don't expect that man to hire me. Because evidently, I don't want the job. Ms. Crawford, your personal opinion, do you feel the city's moving forward or not? Do you feel that, do I feel that we're moving yes, forward? Yeah. Know why? Because Bar there's finally work going on on Barfield Highway, and the poor people on Barfield Highway, who you personally put on Facebook, said, oh, I'm going to look into, oh, the reason that they stop is because of X, Y, Z, when you know they ain't going well, the reason they stop, because we fired everybody out of the city hall, no. Not me. Uh -huh. But anyway. What did I say? What did I say? No, no. You said you brought that up. Don't shut me up when you start something. Okay? I, I want to ask First for a call all, to order. When you, when you said that I put out, put on social media, I put down exactly what the city manager told me. Uh, that's Mayor who I go Bab. to to get answers. Yes, ma'am. That's what I get answers for. Point of order, Great Mayor Bab. Reverend Wallace, okay, you got the last word. I mean, we've been here. It's time to go. Yeah. It's time okay. to go. And the bottom line is this. We can talk about what happened in the past. As long as we live, it's going to be a liar. Nobody want to face the music to what has happened. So all we can do is from this point forward, and, and I asked y'all, and I think y'all said yes, that we will apply, use our human resource, and use the hiring process that Mr. Lucas was trying to explain to us that we were supposed to go to to hire everybody. Interim people will have to apply likewise for their positions. Are we in agreement? That's right. We in agreement, all right. That's the bottom line. And just because somebody applied don't mean they are gonna get a job. Everybody apply that live in Pahokee may not get a job, but they have an opportunity. To, they should get an opportunity to interview. And based on the facts, they should have an opportunity to get that job. Thank From the you. night forward, all I ask is that as a citizen, we give them a chance to fix what they messed up. We can't go back and undo it. I ask my city commissioners, do not violate the sunshine law, because I got it right. And yes, I will file again. We don't have time to play these kind of games. 
Y'all know two of y'all can't go to Mr. Lucas at the same time, so don't even try. Y'all know two of y'all can't be huddling up talking about city business. Don't try. Do what's right. But this is all about hiring process. I think the intent was for the commissioner to hear the citizens, to, to understand the process, and speak our minds. You have afforded us that tonight. I know some things might have got off track, but these are the things they've been holding in for the past year. I don't have to rehash what has happened in this city because everybody who would tell the truth know the truth. It's, it's public record. It is in the courts. Bottom line, we know everything. Ain't nothing done that's not known. We ask kindly if y'all will keep on moving by faith. Don't get weary in well-doing. Just put the applications out there. I looked on the download. I saw eight jobs posted. And they said they'll be advertised until filled. There are jobs posted on our line. To the citizens of Pahokee, if you need a job, go apply for the job. But don't lie that you applied and know you ain't applied and know you ain't qualified. This is not no only job training. This is people who are qualified. Now, if there are some jobs that people been there 30 years can do, they already know it. And they may not have all the credentials, but they can be grandfathered in and trained to do what's right. We can help them the best way. We're going to provide training for our, our employees. And I think that's something, Mr. Lucas, you talked about. You couldn't terminate people who had not been given a proper opportunity to learn the job that they've been assigned. I know the pressure y'all been under. Y'all had to fix all the wrongs before we could go right. Our charter needs fixing. Some things they undone to satisfy their personal needs now got to be redone before y'all can fix all the mess we in. That's why we in, in the mess we in now. If you tell the truth, you'll know the truth. I don't have time for the lies and, and the bite biting. We gonna move forward. Mayor, Mayor Mervyn, are you willing to move, Vice Mayor Mervyn, are you willing to move forward and ask those questions of your city manager, whoever it be, that they are using the practices for behind local and any persons in the city? Yes, I do. Ms. Perez, are you willing to support the HR hiring practices for the city to make sure the city manager do it? Ma'am, that question doesn't even have to be asked of me because if you remember in the meeting, I, I, wanted, I, I don't want to go wanted, back. I'm the only one that asked, what, Ms. what is this chart? What positions are you, are you opening? How much are you paying them? Who's being hired for what? You remember that, right? Do you? I just want to know yes, if you're willing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. A hundred percent. Thank you. Uh, Mayor Gonzalez, I mean, Commissioner Gonzalez, are you willing to support what the citizens are asking for to move forward in prop, proper hiring positions? I support what's written in the books. Amen. Mayor Bell, you only got one vote. I know they think you can move mountains. But like every other commission, you ain't got but one vote. Are you willing, as the leader of our city, to, to put into practice the HR hiring practices that Mr. Lucas went over with us tonight and make sure that we do it properly according to the ordinance of the city? Yes. Thank you so much. Mr. Lucas, the bottom book right now fall in your lap. You are our interim city manager. They do not have the right to interfere in the day-to-day -day operation of this city. Are you willing to move forward in executing the, the laws of the city of Pahokee and hiring practices according to HR? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Ms. Jodgelin? Ma'am. You are next in line. Are you willing to do the same in the hiring practice? Yes, ma'am. That's all I want to know. All I can tell y'all to go with God's speed, move forward. I want y'all don't need to say nothing. Y'all don't have to justify that. Commissioner Bolden, you didn't ask him. He wanted to answer also. Oh, 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 Mr. Commissioner Bolden, we are praying for your healing. 
But are you willing to make sure that with your city uh, manager that you follow the practice of hiring through the HR process that's listed in the city code of ordinance? Can you hear? Mr. Bolden? Commissioner Bolden. Commissioner Bolden. Dr. Wallace? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. Oh, I wanted to make sure that I, I said yes, I do as well. And, and to add to that, I'm formally educated in industrial and organizational psychology. I understand everything from recruitment to developing to firing people. You can ask Mr. Lucas himself. Nobody questions him about practices more than I do. Amen. So my answer is yes. Thank you so much. And I think that's what Mr. Uh, uh, Brown was alluding to, we want to hear you say that you're willing to listen to us and answer those questions. We wish you Godspeed. We're going to support you, but we're going to watch you as you move forward to make us better than ever. I support 100% the work that's going on in this city. I will support each commissioner when you're right. But when you're wrong, know that I'm coming for you. Ms. Wallace, same question for you. Do you At feel the city's moving forward? I know the city is moving forward, Thank you. but what I do understand is the struggle that we had in front of us to get where we are today, right, and like there's said, still a lot to be like done. You said, if we keep if we keep digging into the past, we're not going to move. That's forward. why I told y'all so don't worry about the, the past, because if I bring up the past, all uh, uh, half of us will be in jail. Y'all, not me. I'm talking about we finna move forward. Whatever happened prior to this commissioner getting in, y'all let it go. Let it go. We're your friends. We're not your enemies. We want to be friends. But we can't make you love us. But as our elected officials, we expect you to respect us and our comments. Thank you so much for tonight. Thank Y'all give them a hand for uh, sponsoring this. And to the citizens of Pahokee, you miss an opportunity to come and voice your personal opinion to the townhouse meeting. So in the future, if you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. And if you don't know what you're talking about, just keep silent. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Lucas, any last words as the uh, entrance of the manager? Okay, we've been here for about two and, two, two and a half hours. This meeting is officially adjourned. Thank you. Oh, I was wondering.